Hey guys, I'm Nate, and today we are making fully functional metal ninja throwing stars. Down in the description, there is a link to a PDF to download this template for throwing stars. Of course, you can go with other designs, but I like this one, so I'm gonna be using it. I have this piece of 16 gauge steel, which costs less than $7 and has enough metal in it to make a bunch of throwing stars. To make these ninja stars, we'll be using a hacksaw, a drill with a few different bit sizes, a metal file, and a small belt sander. To help myself be able to drill through the steel, I also have this nice little punch. When you push it down into the steel plate, it compresses a spring up to a certain point and then slams down onto it using the hardened tip to make a mark in the steel that really helps you aim your drill bit right where you want it to go. We have a variety of sizes. Let's start by making this medium small throwing star. We do want to glue this piece of paper down onto our plate of steel. We're gonna be using some spray glue, but you could also use a glue stick or just some Elmer's glue. We now want to use our hacksaw to cut this piece of steel out from the rest of the plate. We need to drill nine holes into this Ninja Star eight going around the outside and one in the middle. Let's start by taking our punch and marking into the steel the very center of each of those nine holes. Now that we've marked the nine spots that we need to drill, we'll use our smallest drill bit to drill pilot holes through each of those. Wider drill bits often have a hard time drilling into a flat piece of steel, so drilling a pilot hole can really help the drill bit start cutting where it needs to. With all nine holes drilled, it's time to move back to the bench vise and hacksaw. One of our eight points is now cut out. Let's go all the way around and do that for the rest of them. Once we have our Ninja Star down to this point, we want to remove any excess bit of the metal that still has the white paper attached to it. We're trying to get our profile to match the black lines pretty closely. For this, we can either use a metal file or a small belt sander. I've got this one inch belt sander and using that tends to heat up the steel really quickly. So I've got a bowl of water that I can use to cool it down so it doesn't burn my fingers while I finish sanding it. We've now got all of the edges cut down to where we want to, so at this point we can remove the paper with some fine grit sandpaper and then start doing some cleaning up and maybe a little bit of decorating. Now let's use that sandpaper and our rounded metal file to just clean up some of the edges. Especially the inside of this throwing star has a very jagged edge and we don't want to cut ourselves on that. Our Ninja Star is getting really close to being ready to use, but I think we need to add a tapered edge on both sides of each of our points. Once again, we could be using our file for this. I prefer to use the one inch belt sander. At this point, with the edges added on, if you like the all metal look, you could just say you're done right here. But I think that this is a Ninja tool and we should make it a little bit more stealth. Let's take some black paint and see if we can't add a matte black surface to our whole star. Our Ninja Star is now painted black and it's looking very stealthy, but I think I want to sand off the paint on all of the edges so we just have that little gleam of metal. Our Ninja Throwing Star is now complete. And just to see how it would go, I also made one of the larger and smaller sizes. Let's take these bad boys outside and see how they do against some targets. First up is an extremely easy target. It's just a block of styrofoam. The Ninja Stars should stick into it really easily. Not bad. With the small one, I'm a little concerned about how well it will stick into things because it doesn't have much weight behind it. But of course, on styrofoam, even it does a great job.
<laughs> Today we learn that I am not a ninja. Our little one doesn't really seem to have enough mass to penetrate this particle board, but the medium and the large ones seem to do pretty well. <laughs> right in between. From 15 feet away, the logs are like pressed up against each other, and I managed to thread the needle and get the throwing star in between two of them, because that's how good of a shot I am. Couldn't do it on purpose if I tried 100 times, but... That's a worse way of throwing them. Guys, we've still got more for you to see. That little box up at the top will transport you directly to our last video. Go check it out. If you click the box down at the bottom, it'll show you YouTube things you should be watching next. This bomb here in the middle will subscribe you to our channel so you'll never miss out on a video again. Don't forget to ring that bell and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.